in all the years that my father and grandfather owned the business, we never owned a boat. My father would build it and grandfather would build this boat and then somebody would come along and want to buy it. I probably have been in a shepherd boat a total of five times. My father worked every day and he figured he'd worked on, because you wouldn't, again, not get away with it now. But back then he did the electrical, supervised all that and the plumbing and the motors and all that. Well, now they would have special people. Back then they didn't. And so he would oversee everything. So he would go to work at 7.30 and come home at 5 o'clock. And he figured he'd worked long enough and he wasn't going to take us out on a boat. If people came to visit, he would take them out. But, I mean, we didn't go. And I didn't go over very often um, because there, it was all men except for the um, office worker. But my father was a perfectionist and very fastidious about whatever he did. The building was painted inside and out every year, black and white. Everything, all the beams, everything were white and then the accents were all black. My father had an office that he hated. He never went in it unless he had to. His workbench was facing the river and that's where he spent most of his time. My father was not a very good people person. He was not, the, my grandfather was the PR. My father would do, my grandfather didn't like to work. He liked to be Mr. PR and he would, he was a salesman. My father was the worker. And my father hated anything to do with, if they had to go to a boat show, he would tell my grandfather, you go, I don't want to go. Because my father just didn't, wasn't good with a lot of people. And my grandfather, he just relished in it. And so he would go. And my father would do all the work. And my grandfather loved to sit in this office and, and answer the telephone and do all this stuff. And my father, no. And so he would uh, very seldom go into the office. And his office was his workbench facing the river so he could see everything that was going on. And the, it was, uh, you didn't leave your job at night unless everything was in the place it was supposed to be. And that's where it was. And he'd go around checking. Even when he was home, he was organized. Um, he had a lot of, uh, he brought in <coughs> apparently a lot of boat makers from Europe. He always said Austria and Germany were the best boat makers. And he would bring them in. Then they, uh, you know, they all had their jobs. <clears throat> the paint department, you never went in the paint department because you might put up a speck of dust. <clears throat> and every <clears throat> boat that was varnished had at least 15 coats. And they were sanded in between, so they would have that. There was a, like all kinds of vacuums to suck out the dust in this room. And it was, if you face the picture of the building, it was on the far right. And uh, then the boat making it was all in stages. If you came in the door, all along the left-hand side, it went from one stage to another. And then you, and when you got to the, the boat slip, that was the finished project. 